from Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to the majestic Caesars Palace, where tonight, Joe Koffenberg presents World Class Chinship Kissing. You're looking at the Sports Pavilion at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello again, everybody. I'm Dan Walker, and boy, tonight is going to be some action. We've got the Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Championship of the World featuring Tommy Richardson out of Jacksonville, Florida, the challenger, versus the champion, Marek Petrowski, who's fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, but he comes to us by way of Warsaw, Poland. With me, of course, as usual, our expert analyst and color man, John Worley. And John, it's nice to have you here with us. Let's talk a little bit about Tommy Richardson. Well, Dan, Tommy Richardson is a fighter that some of the fans from a few years back will remember. He had a tremendous record of 20 wins, 20 wins by knockout, only seven losses during that time. He has been out of action in kickboxing for the last few years because he's been doing a lot of boxing, but he had an opportunity to come back. He's only 28 years old. He said, I want to run at the title. He's going to be in there with the toughest guy I've seen in a long time. Well, and absolutely the toughest guy we've seen in a long time. Also joining us this evening, a special treat. We've got Blinky Rodriguez of the famous Rodriguez Yurkidis clan, one of the all-time great fighters. And Blinky, it's good to have you along. Pleasure being here, Dan. Tell us a little bit about Marek Petrowski. This guy just came out of the blue and started beating the legend. A lot of times, that's the way they come. They come to you out of the blue, and then they just come in with a wrecking crew. Marek Petrowski, he comes in conditioned. He comes in tough. I had the opportunity to see him destroy Bob Thunder Thurman in six rounds at the Hollywood Palladium. Uh, I expect a real tough fight. I understand his opponent also comes in tough, but I think Petrowski has the punching power to take care of business with. Folks, I got to tell you, this is going to be some night. You don't want to miss any of it. You don't want to be away. Get whatever you need by the chair right now and come back with us for World Class Championship Kickboxing right after this. Stay right where you are because up next, the super heavyweights, Dale Broussard against Stan Longanitas. Pavilion, as we are getting set for a super heavyweight match. The big bangers are up and about. Stan Lajanidis and Dale Broussard in this one. And this will be a six round super heavyweight fight. fight. And of course, there are several people here uh, at the fights, the celebrities. There you see Chuck Norris, uh, who was uh, one of the all time great karate fighters in uh, earlier days, has since moved on to, uh, while he has not given up. Uh, working out he has since become something of a movie star has Chuck Norris and a guy who is very much involved in this sport very much involved in this event and has also got himself involved now in something called kick drugs out of America uh, introducing uh, the anti-drug campaign into the world of kickboxing I'll tell you what he's got the condition to kick drugs out of America I've worked out with Chuck and I'll tell you what his cardiovascular is tremendous man. <laughs> He'll run you, he'll run you ragged. He may not be fighting anymore, but he's still, ain't, he's still not done working, is he? That's right. As you look at Dale Broussard right there, this is a guy with uh, a pretty decent record, 10 wins, no losses. We'll get uh, ready to set the stage for this fight as we go up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, ladies and gentlemen, continuing with our outstanding kickboxing action, our next bout coming your way features the big man of kickboxing, super heavyweights in the ring, scheduled for six rounds. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner, and he is wearing in the ring red, white, and blue uh, trunks. Hailing from Springfield, Missouri, his weight is already 196 pounds. His fine record, 10 wins, no defeats, with eight big wins by way of knockout. He is ranked the number five world kickboxing contender. Welcome the undefeated Dale Broussard. And his opponent across the ring. On my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring wearing black trunks with gold trim. Hailing from Melbourne, Australia, he is representing the Jet Center in Van Nuys, California. His weight 
203 pounds. His record, 15 wins, no defeats, 10 wins by way of knockout. He is the kick, North American, Australian, United States, and intercontinental champion, ranked the number one world super heavyweight contender, introducing Stan, the Mexican Longanita. The referee in charge now to give instructions, David Menifee. All right, break when I say break, but protect yourself at all times. No hitting on the break. You guys have any questions? All right, in the event of a knockdown, the person left standing, I want you to go to the neutral corner that I direct you to and stay there until I tell you to come out. Touch gloves, get it on. Okay, we have a tail tape here. Uh, the definite height and reach advantage goes to Broussard, and the weight advantage goes to Stan. I guess uh, that's what we got here. You know, I think Longinitas, 203, about 190 of those pounds are in his leg. You know, that's going to be something interesting to see here. The last time we saw Longinitas, as we are into round one of this scheduled six round of the super heavyweights in the striped trunks, it is Dale Broussard out of Springfield, Missouri, Stan Longinitas, uh, fighting out of the Jet Center in Los Angeles, California, but he is from Melbourne, Australia. The last time we saw Longinitas, he was against Dino Holmesy, and every time Dino kicked him in the legs, he hurt himself. <laughs> Holmesy would limp away from those things. He does have some legs on him. My Unbelievable size legs. We will see if uh, the extra size of Broussard can make a difference here. And they are trading early in the first round. Stan Longinitas, of course, has uh, been uh, wanting a fight with the heavyweight champion Dennis Alexio now for quite some time. Broussard is not the least bit impressed, though. You can see that clearly. I think they love to see that fight in the land of the down under. Right hand, that's it. That's it. That's it. Stan Longinitas with a right. He fought left with a left. And Dale Broussard is on his face. That is going to be it as Dale Broussard is over. Got to get the doctor in there quick. This is, uh, you guys ought to be into him a little faster than that. This guy really took a lick from Stan Longinitas there. Longinitas a little bit worried about this, I, but I, an explosive first round I knockout. just can't believe that they were counting while this guy was right. out down on his face. That's right. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, there's no need to just stop the fight and get a guy in there. You don't count that. Turn him over quickly and get that mouthpiece out of his mouth. Absolutely. Uh, the risk uh, to fighters is, uh, you, don't, you don't ever take the risk to fighters. And uh, we are hoping, surely, that uh, Dale Broussard is going to be okay in here. They are attending to him. And there are people around, probably more people around him than there need to be, in fact. And now here come the medical people into the ring to take a closer look here. And they're bringing a stretcher in. Well, you know, it's sad any time you see something like this happen in any sport. I'll tell you, there has been no major casualties in the sport of kickboxing. I'm really sad to see this happen here tonight. Longan, I mean, uh, Broussard is breathing fine. Looks like he's breathing fine, but he definitely was in, in a little bit of a convulsion there for a moment. There. And they're going to mobilize his neck and not take any chances with him. And but again, uh, we hope that Broussard is, is okay here. It is, uh, and, you know, I think it's important to point out uh, to, re to expand a little bit on what Blinky said here. This is a, a sport that uh, is a combat sport, and it's the kind of sport where you have the possibility of these things. Let's take a look at this again. We're going to see a short right hand over the top. And it's just a perfect left hook that kind of hurt for sword. There's that first right hand. It snaps him around, and he hits him with a second one right there. Hits him with a second uh, right hand, and that's it. That fight should be stopped right now. You don't need to. You don't need to count that one. We're gonna see it again from a different shot there. Right hand, right there. Perfect right hand. That's the kind you dream about. He's out right now. He's out. And it didn't look really that that second shot from Longinitas really uh, did much. Longinitas did much good. He was out on the first punch. No now they no. I'm sure that Broussard is okay because they wouldn't be moving yeah. him out of here this quickly if he wasn't okay. In was fact, okay. we saw him there briefly. He just raised his hand, wiping sweat off of his brow. And uh, yeah, he's, he looks that's fine. A good, that's a good sign. This is obviously is more than anything. It is a, uh, a precautionary measure. And Dale Broussard, we, uh, of course, hope is okay. We'll try to get you whatever reports we can on his condition as, as the evening wears on. Dan, I agree with you. I think that that's a, a real good sign that he's, his arms are moving around. He's looking around. He's yeah. lifting his head up and looking around, and he's, 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 he seems to be aware of what's happening around him. 
you know, so that is a good sign. But again, a, an explosive first round knockout. And another step along the way for Stan Longanitas in his uh, quest to find. We can see there on our cameras that uh, Broussard is trying to get up. And that's a good sign. They're just telling him to lay still and they'll take care of him. Again, it's where we were seeing about Stan Longanitas and his quest to uh, Dennis Alexio. I was going to say, was gonna say the world champion Dennis Alexio is probably uh, watching this with a lot of interest. I bet he is. And well, been watching. <laughs> let's uh, get the official time. There wasn't much of it, but whatever there was of it, Jimmy Lennon Jr. has it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time, 59 seconds in round number one. The winner by way of knockout, he is still undefeated, Stan the Man Longanitas. Stan Longanitas obviously moved by this. These, uh, the tears are coming out of his eyes, and it's not because he's happy about this. He was scared. Stan is a, is a great competitor. He's a god fearing man, and I'm sure that he doesn't want to really hurt anybody badly. Absolutely, and I would bet the first place Stan will be going is uh, over to find out to the dressing to find out how Del Broussard is. And we will be back with more world-class championship kickboxing action from Caesar's Palace right after this.